Cobra coming to you. Story goes like this. Going down the shore seaside, putting on the, buying the wristbands to go on the rides, putting on all the wristbands, costing me money. My son comes out there and says, Dad, go for the extra money. Let me get the, that band that cuts the lines. That's why I go be on all the rides three times by the time you go there. I said, you know, kid, you got a lot of balls talking like that. Let me tell you a story. When we were younger, the family was walking to the bank. My mother, my father, my two brothers, and me were walking to the bank. You know, outside, automatic teller. My father goes right up to it, starts telling what he needs. Some guy opens his fucking mouth. Hey, that's what lines are for. My father turned around, over to that guy, and says, get the fuck out of that car, I'm gonna break your face. That guy would not get out of the car, so my father reaches in with his hands, gets this guy, punches him right in his fucking face. The guy's killed at the wheel. And I was like, holy shit, the little Cobra just seen this. I said to myself, you know what, it was almost me that told my father, hey dad, why don't we wait on the line? <laughs> so I tell my son, the more what his story is, you have the balls, the audacity to tell me that you would like a cut the line ticket, wristband. You're lucky you're still going to get a fucking wristband. Sometimes it's better to be seen and not heard. Cobra, baby.